Today I'm going to be doing an honest review of the Kmart Vitamin C skincare range. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a, another little episode in my series of Budget Beauty. So today I am doing something I'm very excited to do and that is I'm reviewing the Kmart, the new vitamin C range that they just came out with. Um, I was super excited when I saw this. I came across it when it was, I think I was just scrolling through Kmart's like online website to be honest with you, like any new products that they had and then this came up. Um, and yeah, was so, so excited. Um, genuinely, it took me like over a month to get my hands on these products. Like they just sold out like so quickly. Like it was a new product and it was already sold out. And then I kept watching online, kept watching online. And it was sort of, it would say it was in stock. But then when I went to like actually to the checkout, it would then go, oh no, this is out of stock online. And then it would say it was in stock in stores. And then I go in store and there was nothing there. It was just took me a very very long time to get it I only managed to get the stuff one night when I was going into Kmart for something else and I decided to do another check and it was a Friday night and they must have just put out a new stock and I got what I could I could not get everything I actually didn't want to get everything so I'll just before I go through what I did get I'll just quickly run through with you what I didn't get so first of all, I did not get the vitamin C and collagen gel under eye patches. I would have loved to have gotten those. I'm very big on eye skincare, but um, there was none available for those. And yeah, no, just couldn't buy them anywhere. Um, I did not get the hy hyaluronic acid. I didn't get the hy hyaluronic acid sheet mask. This was available, but I had already decided to get the collagen mask and you'll find out later why I didn't get the other mask. <laughs> um, you'll just, you'll find out more about why I just didn't buy the other one as well. Um, I did not get the face toner and that's honestly because like I, I don't use a face toner. I don't think I've ever used one. I don't, I'm honestly, I'm not a skincare like expert whatsoever so I'm not going to pretend that I am um but yeah just didn't get that one because I just don't think I'd ever use it I didn't get the face scrub and I would have really liked to have gotten the face scrub I re I'm recently getting into like exfoliating and all of that so that would have been really cool but again that was completely out of stock couldn't get that and the other thing that I wanted the most out of any product like what I couldn't get and what I could get the thing I wanted the most I couldn't get and that is the eye gel. Like I said before, I'm really trying to focus on looking after my eyes and frustratingly that was available nowhere, nowhere online. I still haven't seen it available so that's obviously the most popular with most people. Um, so I couldn't get that. But besides that, I managed to get six of the products of the line that they brought out. So before I review each product, let me just show you exactly what I did get. So to start off with, I've got the Day Serum, which was $6. I got the Day Moisturizer, which was $5. The Night Serum, which was $6. Night Moisturizer, which was $5. The Face Cleanser, which was $5. And the... Vitamin C sheet mask, which you obviously can see I've opened because I used it, so I could review it for you, um, which was $3.50. So in total for the six products I got was $30.50, which is so cheap. Literally, like, I honestly, I, I, I do not know any skincare that's cheaper than that. I definitely get the vibe that it's, I guess, a bit of a copy of the ordinary a bit which I have not tried so unfortunately guys I can't compare that I can't compare this to the ordinary for you but I definitely am getting a little bit of a vibe it's a bit of a copy of that and I know the ordinary itself is quite cheap but it's probably about I know the serums for the ordinary are $12 and these are 6 
so it's about half the price well exactly half the price so yeah it's a very 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 cheap skincare um so very affordable for most people which is very cool what i like so i decided to buy these products because one thing i'm trying to do for 2020 is definitely take much better care with my skin um is on the top of my list and i am trying to discover which products work for me um at the same time i am on quite a budget so i don't want to spend a lot of money like for me i actually have this really beautiful um dermalogica i think it's called um serum that my mom gave me at christmas time it feels so so nice but the product itself i think is like 120 dollars for just one serum um so yeah that's not something i can afford i i, I don't even really afford to pay 30 dollars for one product like 30 dollars would be the cost of all of this so yeah i definitely look for cheaper alternatives for sure that's just the budget that i'm on if you can afford to spend more and want to spend more 100 percent go for it so i want to start off by talking about the serums i'm not really going to talk about them separately because i honestly didn't find much difference between the two of them so we have the day serum which is the vitamin c and collagen day serum with orange oil for a radiant complexion no artificial fragrances and it just says to gently apply onto face and neck. So, um, I honestly did, I full, I'm, I really don't know that much about skincare. I had to Google it. So you use serum before moisturizer. I have been using serum, but I'd always just put it on before moisturizer because that felt right. Turns out I was doing it right. Thank goodness. Um, and then we've got the night serum, which is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid so the difference is day is collagen night is hyaluronic and this is with orange oil and it's rejuvenating rejuvenating night treatment so same thing um first impressions i found of this is the serum is very thick and gooey which i honestly didn't like um because when you put it on it feels it doesn't feel super nice to spread so i definitely find I guess when I compare that to my Dermalogica serum, which we know is going to be probably a far better product based on the price, um, and it's a very well-known brand, um, I feel like I had to use much more product of this serum um, to be able to like spread it all around my face because it did feel like quite a thick goo. Um, so I really didn't like that feeling, and it did feel a little bit like sticky on my skin, which again wasn't really really that nice. Um, what I will say is after you put them on, it gives you quite a tight feeling in your skin, which I'm assuming is a good thing because I'm definitely trying to look after my skin in general. And I know I'm very, very young, but I am trying to, I guess, prevent wrinkles. And I guess that tight feeling is probably a good feeling if you're preventing wrinkles. So, um, that was definitely like an immediate thing I felt with those. But overall, fragrance-wise, it's very neutral, which I like. I do not really want to, like, smell anything, like, on my skin. And overall, I think it gave me quite a softer feeling um, once it is actually applied all over the skin, which was really, really nice, and it didn't really irritate me or anything like that. Next, let's have a look at our moisturizers so we've got the day moisturizer which is vitamin c and collagen so you know obviously as you'll see in the daytime it's collagen in the night time it's hyaluronic so that's day moisturizer with orange oil for radiant complexion that's the same description as the serum <laughs> and then the night moisturizer is vitamin c and, hy and hyaluronic acid Root rejuvenating night treatment. Um, I would say similar thing to the serum in the sense it feels like a very thick solution. Um, not super spreadable, which I don't really like, to be honest with you. You know how sometimes you put on skincare and it's just, you feel really lush when you put it on your skin? You don't get that feeling when you put this product on. Um, it's very thick, so you have to use quite 
it's not the kind where it's like use a pea size no you don't use a pea size with this amount um you have to use quite an amount to like cover your whole face um and i wouldn't say i guess i like how do you say like almost like quite a wet feeling when i put on my moisturizer like i want it to feel really like super super moist um which i would not say that it gives you it is again a little bit of a sticky feeling but again i think overall um works very similar to the night serum in the sense that it gave me that quite tight and and soft feeling to my skin which was definitely nice then next up we've got the face cleanser which is face cleanser it's a vitamin c and collagen face can cleanse up for a radiant complexion um this just says to apply a small amount and gen and gently massage over wet face rinse thoroughly with water now i have to confess here guys some people are going to be like you are crazy when i say this i do not ever cleanse my face like i just literally like i don't understand what is the purpose of it like i use i take off my makeup using micellar water i make sure i get a lot of the makeup and then i just use do my normal skincare you know i i genuinely don't really see the point in a facial cleanser like i feel okay well i'll tell you what i felt with this and you like might say well that's how you're going to feel with every cleanser it felt really drying on my skin it just like it just feels like i'm putting soap directly on my face um and I felt like my skin felt really dry after. I don't have particularly oil skin, oily skin or particularly dry skin. I have quite normal skin. So for me, I don't feel like I need oil control. Um, yeah, I feel like it gave me dry skin immediately after. But I feel like over the course, because I've been trying this for a month, guys. I didn't want to just use it once and then give you guys a review. I have been using it for the past month. Um... I found that over the course of the month though, and this actually might have been all of the products, but I'm going to blame this buddy, um, made me feel a bit more oily. Um, and I don't know whether that's because my skin was getting used to being cleansed, so it would oil up more knowing that it was going to be dried out after. But I don't like that. Ugh, I do not like the feeling of oily skin. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I didn't. I didn't love this product, but I can't just blame the Kmart cleanser particularly because I've just never liked cleanser. I've never seen the point in it. It's just probably not a product that I see myself using longer term. And then finally, we have the sheet glow sheet mask, vitamin C and collagen. Um... Why did I opt for this one over the hyaluronic one? I'm not really sure. I just thought collagen brighten and firm the skin. That sounds good. And yeah, again, it just says for a radiant complexion. Yes. Yeah, so as you'll see, I guess in the B roll, um, when I pull it off my face, it doesn't look particularly moist. And that's just because I left it on for like an hour. So it had dried up quite a bit. So don't like I guess don't let that deter you like it was still quite moist after the 15 to 20 minutes which is when you're meant to take off the mask but I left it on for so long because I just do not believe in sheet masks either I purely only use them for like novelty if I'm like with a friend and like oh let's do masks together I think they are a ripoff you think about it this is $3.50 and this is $6. Think of how many uses I get out of this. I get one use out of this. I just think you're way better spending like the money you would spend on a mask on better like skincare because they're just like, they're so expensive for a single use product in my opinion. Um, and I just really don't know if they like longer term do that much. Like I will say after I used it, my skin felt very plump, which was really, really nice feeling feel very like fresh plump moisturized really really nice but honestly like the feeling like that feeling was gone after like a day do you know what i mean like i just i think in general like masks are not a great product <laughs> so yeah sorry kmart but um 
again, you can't, they can't fully take the blame for this because I just don't like them in general. But I will say the feeling afterward, afterwards was very, very nice. I did have very plump skin and it looked very plump, which was really nice. Okay, so overall, what do I think? Do I recommend? Um, I'm going to go with yes, I recommend. And here is the basis of my opinion. It is very cheap and accessible by a lot of people. I think if you're not using skincare because you feel you can't afford it, if you can afford to spend $30 on this, then that is like the best option. It's definitely way better than like using nothing on your skin for sure. Um, if you are the kind of person who is on a budget, I would say, yes, you don't get that super luxurious feeling that you get with a more high end skincare when you first apply it. But I think overall my skin does feel good after the month. Um, it definitely, I would say softer for sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And I do definitely do think it's tighter as well. Um, I'm not sure how this would do with like tackling acne or anything like that because it's not really an issue that I have. So I can't speak on that. Um, and I probably do have a little bit of pigmentation and I haven't really seen any improvement in that. It's not a major concern for me though. Um, I'm sort of like just fine. This is my skin. For me, I'm just more focused on having like a moisturized skin and I guess anti-aging like aging prevention is something that is a focus for me the hard thing about skincare is i'm doing like you know anti i'm focusing on anti-aging and aging prevention or oh, i won't really know that till i'm like a lot older whether it's working or not and that is the unfortunate thing but i think the key is is definitely having skincare you know stuff like collagen hyaluronic acid on your skin keeping it moisturized like all of that will you're hoping make a difference i guess and yeah and it's in, it's on a product by product basis again i wish i could have reviewed the um the eye gel because i would love to find a good eye gel um but i could have like had that and been like oh my god no it's horrible it irritated my eyes or anything like that oh i saw it Absolutely no irritation from any of this stuff at all. And I have very sensitive skin. I will tell you guys that. Like, I literally get rashes all the time from a lot of things. So that's definitely something for me that I need to be careful of. And I did not have any irritation at all from this product, which was very, very good. Um, I'd say, yeah, if you can afford slightly more than you can afford to pay more for slightly better then that's definitely the go but if this is like all you can afford i really honestly think it is a good product for the price range that it's in like it would not be fair to compare this to a six dollar serum to a thirty dollar serum or a hundred dollar serum right because they're just not they're just not even going to be in comparable right but within this price range i definitely think it is a really great product they're really great products I am going to continue using them because I am on a budget. I think this probably won't. If one of my friends wants it, they can have it. Um, or, I don't know, I'll give it to my mum and my sister or something like that. Um, but definitely the moisturizers and the serums I am going to keep using. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little beauty review. If you guys have anything else you would maybe want me to review, then definitely leave a suggestion in the comments because I'm definitely open to that. I'm a big fan of, you know, beauty and taking care of yourself, but on a budget. I don't like spending too much money. So hopefully more videos to come in the budget beauty series. But until then, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of those future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.